On today's episode, how to Lulu can we get over a dog named Pupper Emeritus the Fourth? All this and more coming up on God's FM off air. Welcome, ghouls, ghoulettes, and guessies to God's FM Off Air, the official podcast companion to 66.6 God's FM, the radio station dedicated to the band Ghost and the God's Posting community, broadcasted live once per month on the Station Head app. I'm your host, Richie, a.k.a. Papa X, a.k.a. Papa Me Meritus, as so lovingly named by the God's Posting community. If you're anything like me and the rest of the guesties in the ghost community, you're on social media. We all consume content every day, whether it's on Facebook, TikTok, you name it. Today, I'm going to be having a conversation with a friend of mine that I've made in this community, and I promise you, I promise you that we will be on topic and we will be off topic. We are going to go zig, we are going to go zag, we're going to go all over the place, but it's going to be entertaining nonetheless, because that's what happens when you have two people that have the ADHD brain and a fuck ton in common. I was under the impression that I was going to be talking to a dog today, but I realized very slowly that this dog does not have opposable thumbs and cannot possibly be sending me all these TikTok tweets and all this other stuff that, that it's tagging me in. So I would like to say hello to the human person that runs the Pupper Emeritus the Fourth TikTok account and now Instagram account. What's going on? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> You're very correct. Um, he has, is not skilled in that way yet, um, but he, he's a smart boy and maybe sometime in the future, but I'm afraid if he learns too much, um, the dog overlords will be in our near future. If he learns how to control technology. Do you think it could be worse than Skynet? <laughs> Let's hope not. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, um, uh, Whatever you feel comfortable talking about, tell us a little bit about yourself and how the Pupper Emeritus the Fourth account and uh, just it's it's gotten like big, you know, like it's one of the first uh, ghost fan accounts that I ever saw on the internet. Whenever I decided to really? delve, yeah, it is. It's like one of the first things I saw when I decided to delve into it a little deeper. So, like, how did you figure out, like, hey, I'm gonna do this? <laughs> first of all, I have autism. <laughs> And ADHD. So when I put my mind to something, I kind of go extra fucking hard. Can I swear? Absolutely. I can swear. Okay, good. Because <laughs> I tend to curse. I say stupid things. Sorry. I say stupid things. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry for the cursing. I tend to curse. I say stupid things. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I first got into Ghost. I can actually tell you the exact day that I got into Ghost. Because I went on YouTube and I looked up Mariana Cross because I'm the type of autistic person or ADHD person, whatever. Those things kind of like coincide together a lot, which I feel a lot of the fan base is within the spectrum. Um, I'm just saying, which I love. I love that. You would not be wrong by any stretch. No, no, I wouldn't. So I jumped on the bandwagon when Mariana Cross was getting really popular on TikTok. So, you know, I thought the song sounded really fucking awesome. And I was like, now I got to find the music video. Fuck it. Like, let me, let me go. And when I, when I did, I was like, Mariana Cross, Mar Marinara Cross, Marijuana Cross, what? Um, but no, it was Mariana Cross. And obviously back then the, uh, the lyric music video didn't exist. And so I saw the next thing was the Spillways music video that was there. Like, do you know when you go on YouTube and like off to the side, it like shows like the band. And I saw Papa in his little like miter and costume. And I was thoroughly confused as to what the fuck I was looking at. I'm like, who is this man? And what does he do? <laughs> and so... It was September 2nd, 2022, is when I clicked on Spillways and listened to the song for the first time. And from that day on, it was all down fucking hill. 
felt. <laughs> and you know, <laughs> you know, the crazy thing is, is I thought it was the perfect mashup of a Def Leppard and Bon Jovi song that never got released. I fucking agree. I love Bon Jovi. Like, I'm a very big 80s music slut. <laughs> I'm a slut for 80s music. And it was very, very 80s. And then what else did I hear? I think I heard like Kiss the Go Goat as well. I heard a couple of their songs and I was like, okay, you know, fucking get it. This band is fucking tearing it up. And so after a few days of listening to their songs and after the uh, religious guilt that I had in my heart was starting to dissipate a little bit because I was considered myself a good Christian person back then. Now I'm full on seven inches of satanic panic deep. (laughs) So after like a few days later, I was like, all right, I'm going to like, I need to see when are these guys going on tour? Unfortunately for me, (laughs) This is just my luck. Ghost had just came to my city like two days prior. No way. And like that's that's the time that you Yeah. Saw. And I was I was fucking pissed. I was oh, like dude. That's the worst whenever you either you know about a band that you like really enjoy or you just discover a band and then you look at your paper uh, or your newspaper or like news article or anything of the sort online and you see that they've just come and gone and you're just like (laughs) really because i have a similar story if you don't mind me uh telling go go for it yeah go for it okay so (laughs) i also am a music slut big time it's uh, it could be uh, 70s 80s 90s oh of course you can tell that's kind of you're just a slut in general yes i I am totally am (laughs) we all are and there's nothing wrong with that no there's not (laughs) so i was living in denver colorado at the time and it was 2007 one of my very favorite bands, what I was basically hyper fixating on until Ghost came along years later, was uh, mm-hmm. His Infernal Majesty, him. So their Venus Doom album had just dropped. And you got to keep in mind, anybody out there listening, 2007 was still kind of like Facebook is not a thing really like it's kind of a thing but it's the kind iPhone of not just came out yeah in 2007 <laughs> yeah iphone had just come out and where i was living i was having to use the communal computers in the front lobby to get on the internet because i Oof. still didn't have my own shit so what a wild time that was <laughs> it really was like this was during the time where i was clicking like myspace articles and trying to like deep dive the web to see when the dark knight was coming out and all this other shit so I'm I'm in my apartment and my fucking neighbor would bring me like all the local rock magazines and shit because Denver had a pretty cool like metal scene back then. So he uh-huh. brings me these these uh, magazines. He's like, here, dude, like here's a bunch of extras and all this other shit. I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm thumbing through and I see that uh, <laughs> fucking him is touring with Bleeding Through. And I'm like, oh my God, I want to go see this. Fucking three days ago. Fuck. Oh God. Yeah, they played the, the- Og- they played the Ogden Theater and the Ogden Theater was, I shit you not, a 10 minute drive from my apartment. Oh shit. See, that's what gutted me so fucking bad. That's what guts me. Ugh. It was it was such a hard time for me. <laughs> and I know that probably sucked ass for you too. Oh, I I didn't cry, but I was so mad because like when him does a United States tour, they do one leg and that's it. So like if you miss them on a touring cycle, that yeah, that's fucking it. But luckily for me, they did another leg, which I was very shocked at because they normally don't. So I got to catch them on that tour. So like I've seen them on every United States tour that they've done, except for that one leg that I missed by three fucking days. It's kind of like the Imperator and then the Re-Imperator. So I missed them. So I got into Ghost September 2nd, 2022. And I saw them for the first time September 3rd, 2023. So almost a full year later. So it's kind of like... uh, What is the word? (laughs) It's kind of like it came full circle. There you go. It came full circle. (laughs) But I did get rather mad and upset. To the point where I full on made a a costume for my dog. <laughs> so what had happened was <laughs> what had happened was. So what had happened was <laughs> I was very mad, <laughs> but I was still following like a bunch of like ghost 
accounts on my Facebook. It was in September, so Halloween was right around the corner. And I came across this picture of this guy, like, holding a dog. And the dog had, like, a little Pope costume on it. So it had, like, the mitre. It had the sash that goes around the neck with the little cape and shit. My brain went boop and was like, I wonder if they make, like, a satanic version of that for dogs. And, you know, obviously fucking not, because <laughs> why would they? Um, it's way too fucking niche. You don't know what the dog I, thinks. Like, you know, people say know. that shit. Too. You don't know what that dog wants. I'm like, bullshit. I bet right? you differ. I watched this dog choose his religion on your TikTok. <laughs> yeah, shit. Leave him alone. Let him choose his own path in life. And, and people are like, oh, there, your dog's going to hell. And I'm just like, I'll be there with him, shit. The fuck? I mean, also, he's a fucking dog, so... Gee, I don't know what sa- what says about you, man, but you know he's what, a fucking dog. You know what I used to tell people that would be like, hey, you're going to hell. I'd be like, okay, so there's Ozzy Osbourne and endless drum solos in hell. I think I'm going to be just fine. Yeah, and plus, you know, all the guesties and ghost fans, Tobias probably. Le- meet y'all leading the charge. He's driving the whole yeah. fucking bus down there. He's, he's on the pale white horse. That's where he's going to be. And we're following behind him. Yes, exactly. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, sorry, ADHD off-topic rants. Yeah, they don't have a satanic Pope dog costume. And you know what I did? What did you do? I fucking made one. As you do. As you do. <laughs> because you, you put the creator <laughs> in content creator, okay? Yeah. I try to find the uh, like little pieces and stuff that I can put together. But I found the original costume, if anybody's interested. It's called Holy Hound, which is the base of the costume that I had. Um, it comes with like the miter. It comes with the sash and like the little cape and shit. So that was the base of his costume, which was like the same outfit that I saw in the picture of the dog. So I was like, yes, let me get that and let me modify it. Do I know how to do any of this shit? No, but I'm going to fucking try. And try I tit. Because the ADHD and the autism helped you to fucking do this. Yes, exactly. When you put those two together, I could do any fucking thing I want to. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Shut up. (laughs) My brain just switched on and it was like, fucking bet. So I got the costume. He's not even one years old at this point, though. So he was still growing. And I got the biggest fucking costume, like the biggest sized. And I started, you know, working on it. Uh, I I got inspiration from the Papa for Funko Pop, actually, which I have him right here, finally. Uh, I didn't have him at the time, which put a damper on things because f- trying to find a back shot of him. <laughs> that word is so funny. <laughs> trying to find a picture of his back. That's better. This is a family That's- program. Slap my wrist for shame. <laughs> Don't be a dirty slut. (laughs) Oh my god. Honestly, I didn't know where you would put the sound effects, but now I'm having more confidence in you. You should always have confidence in me. I I am a professional. I know what I'm doing. You are a professional. mm, Well, we'll debate that later. (laughs) (laughs) I'm joking. I love you. I love you too. I'm just giving you a hard time. You know that. Oh, yeah. Always. We always, every time, we talk like almost every fucking day and give each other shit all the time. It's a roast fest and and I love it. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, (laughs) Papa's back shot. Um, (laughs) (laughs) So I was trying to find um, pictures of the back of the Funko Pop, which, you know, is very difficult. Eventually, I found it and I styled uh, Pupper Emeritus's miter off of the Funko Pop because that one was a if you look at Papa's original miter that thing lord have fucking mercy that thing <laughs> is so complex and detailed whoever made that miter i think it was majesty black right yes kudos to them because holy fuck i could never it's one of those things that even as a person who has like done like small like art pieces in the past, I would look at that in the first time that I got frustrated with something or like something was, I don't know, a, a centimeter off. I would just be like, eh, fuck it. I'm throwing the whole thing Throw away and all, starting throw over. Throw it all away. Fuck it. And then, and then you go dig and get out of the trash. Like, wait, I can fix this. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Please don't. Please don't. I can do it. 
I can do it. I can do this. Come back. <laughs> uh, the miter, uh, I hand painted myself. Um, it was a fucking bitch. I, I and I'm really happy because the crucifix logo that's like on the middle of his miter. I did that by fucking hand, bitch. Dude, no shit. By fucking hand. I didn't even sketch it out beforehand with like chalk or some shit. I just felt confident that day and it just all worked out for me. <laughs> wow. wow. Yeah. Yes. Round welcome. of applause. <laughs> you know what? That's one of the only things I do not have. So I, I, Bitch. <laughs> lacking. You're lacking. I don't have You're a supposed stu- to be a professional. I don't have a studio audience. I'm not that professional yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, I I um was able to do that freehand. A lot of it was freehand, actually. The gold paint and designs was freehand. How many times am I gonna say freehand? Maybe a couple more. Um drop a comment below on this episode if you can keep count of how many times <laughs> freehand has been said. Go on with the chlorophyll. <laughs> um so I did it all freehand, right? <laughs> And I felt pretty proud of myself. Um, Obviously, I fucked up a few times, but, you know, there's nothing a little black acrylic paint can't fix. Uh, Just cover up. It's a little, there's no mistakes. It's little, you know, little happy accidents, you know, as Bob Ross would say. I love Bob Ross. Bob Ross. I love that, man. Dude, Bob Ross and uh, Fred Rogers were two of the best fucking things about my childhood, honestly. Yes. I could go to sleep just looking and watching Bob Ross talk his his voice hello yes and the visuals of his painting and you think you could do it and it, he's like anybody can paint here i'll show you if you try to do it I, I would most likely fuck up i would be i would be that where like i just throw the whole thing away <laughs> <laughs> but you know he would fuck be, it you know he's the type of person or was the type of person that would like encourage you to keep going he'd be like no it's okay Man, see because all you gotta do yeah. right here is just cover this up with this color here and he would like take your wrist and like help you like guys you know you just take it right here and then you just you, you cover it up here and then we're just gonna paint a bunch of happy ghouls over it yeah just you know just happy little accidents you that's know? right <laughs> so i free handed it right <laughs> <laughs> i lost my train of thought <laughs> so you're freehanding so all this stuff it. <laughs> And I completed the miter. The first go around, I had to, you know, fuck around with the different colored gems and shit. And the miter that I completed, I just recently redid it to make it a little less clusterfuck looking and a little more like the Funko Pop. So right now it's actually different than what people have been seeing on my TikTok. Um, I need to post a little update video about that. And I know a lot of my progress videos go viral i got like two of them that are like a couple hundred thousand views i think so people love to see that shit and i love to show people my work in progress even though it's fucking shitty but you know we're gonna work with it dude a hundred thousand plus people can't be wrong twice in a row exactly and people love the pupper you know it, it, i would say thousands- that's a good draw to the fucking channel yeah Thousands of people love the pupper, so he's the real star of the show. I'm just the bitch who does the things behind the scenes. He's just the star. I pick up his poops. Exactly. His meaty steamers. (laughs) That's what I do. (laughs) (laughs) So I freehanded. (laughs) You freehanded the meaty steamers? (laughs) No gloves. Full... Full um, hand exposed. <laughs> Just have to put some sanitizer on after. Uh, Dip my hand in bleach. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> after I completed the miter, I went on to the because it comes with the miter and then it comes with the sash. There's a fucking term for that. I don't. What's that fucking name? It's a ter- there's a term for like the sash that goes around the neck and it, Papa wears it. It says Papa Emeritus. And a pupper wears it, and it says pupper emeritus, and it has, like, you know, there's a name for that. I'm just going to call it I sash because it sounds cool. It's the sash. Um, I was used, I use acrylic a lot, acrylic paint. Um, so I was, you know, painting the acrylic, the black acrylic, and then this really, really pretty, really pretty 
uh, teal shimmery kind of acrylic um, on the suit that he was going to wear. And it had like a cape already and everything. And I was like, shit, fuck yeah. Like it's all built in. Um, he wore it. I put it on him once. And there's a picture actually on my Instagram of him wearing the whole entire outfit before it was changed to Pupper Emeritus. Um, and it fit him rather nicely. Um, and I was like, bitch, I'm going to make this your Halloween costume this year. You just fucking wait. Um, and that's what I did. And I started painting his, I finished his miter. I started painting the bodysuit. I got it all painted and I was going to put it, you know, I wanted to put it on him first before I, you know, put any detail and stuff. But when I put it on him, let's just say he wasn't done growing. So after all that hard work of painting and getting my bed sheets stained with acrylic, it did not fit him any longer. Oh, no. Sad face. <laughs> all that work. But, you know, it, 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 it's, not, it's not all bad because there was a long hiatus, though. It, it was one of those things, what we just said before, where it didn't fit him anymore. And I was like, fuck it. Throw the whole thing away. <laughs> <laughs> so I threw the whole, whole, the whole suit away. Except for the miter. Oh, I kept that. Fuck. Well, yeah, I was going to say, I hope you kept the miter. <laughs> no, I, I kept the miter because that one I was actually pretty proud of. Um, I did some modifications later on, like a couple months later. Like I added the uh, two little sashes that go in the back, that hang off the back. And then I put some, uh, if anybody, because I've heard like a lot of people ask me how I make this shit. I have a playlist on my TikTok. I don't know if you've seen it. But it literally, it, it's my whole process uh, is on there. And I put cardboard to help the miter stay up or else it'd be like all floppy. So that's what I did. And then painted the inside black because nobody wants to see that. It's like I just put a Band-Aid over it. Nobody wants to see my <laughs> janky ass Band-Aid quick fix. <laughs> nobody wants to see that. So just paint it black. No one can see. No one's the wiser. But then when the tour was announced... I really wanted, and like I started getting more traction, like more followers and shit, because people started saying all this bad, nasty shit about my dog and about me, like saying, "L dog, you need to put this dog down, shoot this dog in the head," all this nasty, gross shit. People are fucking wild and weird sometimes. Um, so I made reactions with Apollo, uh, which is his name. His name's Apollo. You obviously knew that. Yes. So I made I made reactions with him, with Pupper. And that, with, like his miter on and stuff. And that's what's re- what really got me like skyrocketing. Like, yeah, like just- reaction videos are pretty much like, it's one of the most uh, popular forms of uh, content, mm-hmm. like consuming from a viewer standpoint. Yeah. And plus, I did the thing on TikTok where you, like, replied to the comment with a video, and I would do that, like, a bunch. (laughs) Dude, I forgot you could actually do that. Yeah. So I would do that a bunch, and I'd put Pupper in there with his little miter, and then I'd, I'd, like, find a song, you know, like, In the Arms of the Angel. (laughs) (laughs) So, like, I, I would... I would put him in his miter, and, like, I'd make the screen... I'd make the video, like, black and gray. And, like, when somebody said something mean, like, it'd be like... In the arms of the angel. And then I'd like zoom in on his face. And hopefully that would make the whoever that's, commented feel bad. That's fucking amazing, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that several times. Um, that one's a crowd favorite, I must say. <laughs> it's a meme to put all on its own, really. Yeah, so I got I got super creative with the mean responses, which I feel like got me the most popularity is, you know, the mean response, like responding to the mean comments with Pupper in his little miter. And when people saw that and they saw him in the miter, they'd be like, oh, my God, it's it's a ghost dog. Oh, my God, it's so cute. And then people would come and defend me in the comments, would further boost my video. And I'd be like, fuck, yeah, get on Pupper's side. Fight these motherfuckers. He's and just a dog, that. man. Don't attack the dog. I know. And that's what people would do. And, like, I would love it when people come on my videos and, like, support me and support him. Um, that was my, that's, like, my favorite is when people come out of, like, ghost fans, y'all come out of the woodworks and, you know, stand firm, especially when it's a dog. 
He's really the goodest boy, though. He is. He's the most satanic emotional support pupper. So for a couple months, I did those like videos and shit. That's that's where I got my most followers is from <laughs> those reaction videos. And then when Ghost said, when Tobias, or however, how do you, how do you say it? Tobias? Yes. To, Tobias Forge. To- Yeah, like it's almost like a uh and an eh at the same time. Nobody calls him that. Like he did an interview a while back with um, Eddie Trunk. In fact, he trolled him when he was doing his interview because Eddie Trunk was was wearing Was he wearing one of the little outfits? Yeah, because basically what it boiled down to is uh, Eddie Trunk was like, I don't, I'm not interested in interviewing Papa. I want to interview the guy behind the mask. And at this point, like Tobias had uh, just finished or was in the midst of the whole pre Kel era, like lawsuit or whatever. And Mm -hmm. when he showed up, yeah, sure, he was not in costume, but he was still in costume because the dude yes. looked, he looked like he looked like White Prince, and it was the funniest. <laughs> yes. It was the funniest yes. damn shit ever. And I remember that <laughs> right. And like one of the only decent questions he got asked was like, you know, you how do you actually pronounce your name in Sweden? Because everybody just calls you Tobias Forge because like we're a bunch of Americans and that's how we fucking like have always like looked at that name. But in his native uh, country, it is Tobias Forge. And it's like, okay, cool. So I like that. But he has gone on record and be like, yeah, everybody says it the other way so much that I'm just like fucking it. I roll with it. So it's like, I guess there really is no right way. I just prefer to call people by what they want to be fucking called by. <laughs> so that's just me. Yeah. I'll have to ask you many times, how do you say his name again? So when Tobias announced the tour that was coming up, uh, I think it was like Valentine's Day around then for the re tour. And I was shitting bricks because uh, a lot of people were telling me, you know, the papas changed and stuff. And I was like, oh, my God. I was like sweating bullets. I was like, oh, my God. Am I going to is am I going to be able to see him? Is he going to be Copia or is it going to be somebody else? And I was like, OK, everybody likes a dog. Everyone likes a pupper. So in my Delulu mind, I was like, what if I make pupper's costume? And I make, I, like, I actually finish his costume. Because at this point in time, I yeeted. Uh, <laughs> and I only had the miter finished. And I was like, fuck, Papa's coming. So in my Delulu head, I was like, what if I can try to get Papa to meet Pupper? Obviously, that didn't happen. Can I just say that I love the the terminology Delulu so much? Like, it's one of the funniest (laughs) fucking things ever. Like, me being a parent, like, I I come across, and even, like, not even just the parent side of it, but it helps because, like, my teen child, like, fills me in on all the latest lingo. So Uh the term Delulu is one of the funniest goddamn things I did not hear from my own son. (laughs) It's so great. Where did you hear that from then? Uh, Gons y- posting, maybe? You and a lot of people in Gons posting, yes. Because <laughs> we're all Delulu here, all right? You, you and Megan, for sure, is, is who I heard <laughs> from. Yeah, me and Megan are very much Delulu. We're in Delulu land <laughs> constantly, <laughs> all the time, 20 for fucking seven. So I wanted, in my Delulu brain, I was like, I want Pupper to meet Papa. And I got to... If 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 that's gonna happen, then I have to finish his fucking his fucking whole ensemble. I have to finish it. So that kicked up my ADHD autism brain again. But I had a couple months to complete everything. Which uh, let me just say now that the reimperator is over and I still haven't completed everything. <laughs> I'm a procrastinator, all right? Dude, it's okay it's- because you'll you'll probably let's see, what what is it right now? It's it's April and we still have like more. I'm pretty sure we're going to have like, uh, I don't know, seven more fucking papas in the next 10 years or 12 mm-hmm. or some shit. So you have plenty of time. I have plenty of time. You've got plenty of time to finish I this. I have plenty of time. <laughs> exactly. And it, when, when Copia goes, if Copia goes, fingers crossed, he doesn't, you know. He doesn't go. I know. I love this guy. I love this character so fucking much, dude. Like, if he goes, I'm a fucking cry. All right. Uh, same. I've, <laughs> you know, Papa, Papa Emeritus the uh, second Secundo. He that is my favorite Papa. Like, just of all a bunch. But I gotta tell you, like, as far as just the body language, the fucking 
eh, the noise, the random fucking noises and shit. The yeah, uh, the fifty-five-year-old autism autism man. Yes, yeah, just. Uh, <sighs> Like he's the autism creature. Dude, we all love him. Anybody that can like walk up, give you the smolder, and present you with dead flowers, and just be like, "Hello, how do you do?" How you do know, you? <laughs> are those flowers for me? Like, I want to go out uh, with this guy. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I'm guessing those flowers aren't for me. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Make a perfect Papa impression. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, I just no. love. I just love the up that he he. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's just like, yeah. what the fuck. Even whenever he visits her, in, like when he goes to the room and he's like, wait, 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 wait. I just uh, <laughs> ah shucks, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Or when he op- he he enters the room. Ta-da. Uh, you know what? I actually need the ta-da as a drop, as a sound drop. Yes, you do. I don't know why. You just need some copia autism noises. You know what? I think I'm going to make that happen. So after after we finish here, I'm probably going to do that. Like, I always like, yeah, I'm going to take some time and, you know, I'm going to take some time for myself. To, nope. I'm constantly working on this fucking program. <laughs> so that's not happening for me. Like, I'm, I'm going to go right from this to that. And then maybe I'll sleep for two hours and wake up and do it more. Yeah, exactly. I'll hold you to that. I'll text you later. I'm going to be like, did you do the thing? Bitch, did you do the thing? I'm t- did you like, do the fucking thing? Fucking me proof, you son of a I'm bitch. I'm going to kick your fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw you. I'm going to fucking yeet you like I fucking yeeted the miner, you piece of fucking shit. <laughs> 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 I'm going to kick your ass, Richie. <laughs> oh, shit. <sighs> so anyway, you wanted the dog to meet Papa. Anyway, anyway, it was freehand. And I was like, all right. Got to make this fucking work. I got to make this fucking happen. So I finished the miter. I added the tassels, the strips of fabric that hang off the back. Then I sat for like two months contemplating on what the fuck I'm going to do with the body. (sighs) Because I wanted to be lazy, but I also wanted it to look good. Um, And but luckily for me, the lazy side won. And I went on Amazon and there was a dog fur bodysuit in the perfect color that I needed it to be. I can't believe how well it matched actually. Cause I was going to really? ask you where, yes. yeah, dude. Cause I was going to ask you where you found the bodysuit because I thought it was interesting that like the whole suit works very well together. And then I was like, that bodysuit is really what ties it together. Where the fuck it did does. you get that? Amazon, <laughs> Jeffrey Bezos. Jeffrey, um, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bezos. Bezos. <laughs> Come on, Jeffrey, you can do it. <laughs> Zuckerberg and Gates and Buffett amateurs can fucking suck it. <laughs> but yeah, I I found the perfect color and it matched the already existing gems that I had on my miter. And I was like, yo, Lucifer, we are here. He smiled upon me and was like, here, bitch. I got this. I got you. And I found it and I bought it. Um, and it it's a legit like it's like one of those fursuits you put on your dog to like prevent them from shedding everywhere. So it's like actually legit made for dogs, um, which was nice. And, you know, I also thought in my Delulu brain, I'm like, I don't want to get Papa fucking Harry, like from my goddamn dog, probably jumping around, getting all excited. So this is perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. And, and history proves that. Papa will hold a puppy. I don't know about that big goofball over there. Um, I mean, Papa's a big goofball. Why wouldn't he want to hold the dog? Even if, see, even as big as he is. That's that's what I'm saying. Copia has major golden retriever energy, and which I think a lot of people like Pupper Emeritus because he's an actual golden retriever. <laughs> he's like the physical embodiment of the personality. He is. Yes, he is. And he's not one of those retrievers that are like big and like stocky. He's tall and lanky. And he's a lanky ass fucking boy. I'll tell you that much. He's my, long and his limbs are long. My, he's a long boy. My boy's leaned out and shit. <laughs> yes, he is. He's very fucking long and lean. Um, and he's he's a very red boy. He's a sweet um, baby. I, I You know what? Whenever I come visit, because I do plan on coming to visit you guys, I want to I want to walk up to him and be like, sup, dog. What's up, dog? Sup, dog. <laughs> he's going to be like, who the fuck are you? No, he's just going to go, cuss you. And then I'm going to get fucking like, exploded <laughs> like right there out of my shoes. 
It's like he'll sit. put a curse on your family. Yeah, pretty much. Like sit, speak, fuck you. Like oh god. <laughs> Funny enough, I taught him a trick. So I taught him how to hail Satan. Oh shit. So he knows how to hail Satan. And my friend didn't believe me. I was I was out at Disney World and she was um living at my apartment, um, watching him. Um and I was like, Yeah, he knows he knows a few tricks, he knows how to hail Satan. And she was like, Are you fucking kidding me? And I was like, No, he knows how to hail Satan. And she got her husband and she filmed it and her husband I'll send I'll send you the I'll send you the video. And her husband was oh like God. like I'll send you the video, I swear to God. Um, and her husband was like, Hail Satan, and he lifts up his fucking paw. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and he hails Satan. <laughs> and he's a very smart boy. Like he's so easily trained. And I he learned how to hail Satan in like a matter of hours. So yeah. I feel proud about that. You so should be he's- proud. That's insane. <laughs> I love it. I'll send you I'll send you the video um after we're done here. Yes, please. <laughs> I might I might post it actually because that was fucking funny cuz you could you could see their surprise. And I wanted in my Delulu brain uh, I was like it would be a cool trick to show to be is that he could also hail Satan. <laughs> Win some brownie points, you know? My dog can hail Satan. He would know and would oh. not know what to say. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. Oh. oh. So, so. <laughs> Just trail off. <laughs> exactly. Oh my god! Another reason why I love I love him is because I would do the same exact thing. Because I'd be thoroughly impressed, but then also not know what the fuck to say. It's like yeah, this right. dog just literally hailed Satan in front of me. Like, what? The, how am I supposed to? What am I supposed to say about this? Like, yeah, I could just see him like on stage probably later. So uh, I met a fan, a very young fan, <laughs> and his owner taught him how to hail Satan. The cool. young, the young gentleman uh, was a a dog. <laughs> you know, just <laughs> something stupid. You're just nailing his speech, like almost spot on. Like it's not even funny, because <laughs> that would be something he would say in the exact way he would say it. He's so awkward. I love it. That's that's my favorite part about him, really. Mostly because with this band, I guess, like this kind of speaks to. Um, the audience at large, really, because anybody listening and, you know, anybody that's listened to this band, it's hard to not hyper fixate on the group as a whole, because not only is the music really like slapping, as the young folks say, but the imagery and the lore just kind of fits all together yeah. in such a great way that things it makes like your brain go bird. Right. And then. But what I'm getting at also is like it makes things like the Pupper Emeritus TikTok thing extremely possible and not very pun intended far-fetched if you will <laughs> you also need a but uh, it's, it's my hope that the jokes stick the landing <laughs> stick the landing yes that is, that, that is also a fetchable item <laughs> no but uh you didn't but you didn't want to put fur all over papa yeah exactly okay there you go thank you i need your help <laughs> i need an adult i'll be here all week <laughs> Um, so I, I got his bodysuit. I was figuring out what the fuck am I going to do with the cape? And I was originally planning on doing that sash and the cape out of like the same material. So I went to Joanne's like you do. And I brought it home and I measured it. I put it around his neck and I totally fucked up. And I was like, throw the whole thing away. (laughs) Shit. Um, but I did end up making the sash that went around the neck. And I uh, have a video on my TikTok of me making that sash. That actually also went viral as well. Not a joke, though. Uh, I freehanded <laughs> the letters. Like, I wrote out, like, where the spacing was. Even then, like, I didn't follow that as much as I should have. Um, I did freehand the letters and the whatever the star and like the the number four on there. I wanted to do something a little bit more, so I might you know fuck around with it a little more. Maybe put like a gold border, or some shit like that. Something cool, something cooler. My main fear though is uh, Copia leaving, and now I have to make a whole other costume. And then, oh, what if I make? costumes for all the papas then i could just be papa emeritus i can just get rid of the fourth you know what i mean 
True. All right, my tism brain is turning on again. No, this is bad financial decisions. Oh my god. I am never gonna financially recover from this. I can't, I can't. Now I wanna make Terzo, god damn it. You should, that would be Wouldn't fun. I, it was, it's not the first time I've thought about making Terzo. I have some things in my cart already to make Pupper Emeritus the third. Just the money is what I'm lacking. <laughs> Um, Because sometimes my tism brain is like, I need to do this now, now, now. Let's go. Let's go, bitch. And my wallet's just like, I think you need to step back. So about that purchase you made. (laughs) Exactly. Some of us Um, have dried up over here. (laughs) My my bank account said, no, bitch, you fucking, you were poor. I'm sorry. Fucking thing where you open your wallet and you just open it and you hear, (laughs) and there's just like, (laughs) there's like moths flying out. Have you seen that gif of John Travolta? <laughs> From Pulp Fiction? <laughs> <laughs> Where you open the would you open the wallet and he's like looking around and he's like what? shrugging. Where? Yeah, like where <laughs> bitch where? Money, bitch where? <laughs> um so maybe in the future I'll do a Terzo. Or if Papa V comes, I'll do a Papa V. Um you know, I'm versatile. I yeeted the uh cape project and i actually (laughs) i was waiting for that um and i was i thought to myself what is the laziest option that i could do lucky for me lazy won again when i went on amazon and i found a child's cape and i bought the child's cape and when it got here i put it around his neck which that I also have a TikTok for that as well. Finish doing the cape and shit. It didn't fit, um, so I had to use my big girl brain and my sewing machine, uh, and I just extended the neck fabric and like added some Velcro and Velcro that together, and it fit his fluffy ass fucking neck like a glove. And so I didn't have to make an entire cape from scratch. Round of applause to me. Laziness wins again. <laughs> Amazing. Um, yeah, right? And I added the, what is that symbol on the neck? I don't know the oh, official it's, name. It's, but um, the, it's the Leviathan cross. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's the Leviathan one. cross. So I put that on there. Um, Co- so Copia has that on as well. And it's fucking hard to see because he has a lot of detail that's like also covered in his fucking cape that he wears. And I'm like motherfucker (laughs) and it it was so hard to try to figure out what i wanted to show and what uh i was able to show because obviously his whole outfit is way more fucking detailed and intense as puppers um and i still want to kind of i i I still want to finish the cape uh i want it to look like papa's cape you know from the back the call me little sunshine his outfit i think that's i don't know what the official name of that outfit is called oh the the blue um papal robe that he wears and everything i i don't don't know exactly what it is called but i know that he has that one in his black one like his black and orange one and then the blue and black one which i i'm a i'm a bigger fan of the blue one if i'm being honest i think it looks sharp as fuck Really? Yeah, me too. Well, well, obviously I am because I fucking my whole dog is directed <laughs> around <laughs> that fucking thing. Um, but maybe in the future I can do. Okay, see, my autism ADHD brain is kicking up again. Gonna do the flying nun hat, and yes. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do next. No, I probably do Terzo if I did anything next. So I was finishing. Oh yeah, I was finishing up the uh, the cape, which. Uh, it's funny enough. I'm I, the cape is still not done <laughs> because um, I I was like making videos, which they got pretty popular, where people would tag Ghost in these videos, uh, in my videos, and um, like in droves, like hundreds of people. And uh, as it came closer and closer and closer to the actual tour day, my my motivation to finish because i i wasn't planning on doing anything with the bodysuit um but now i kind of want to you know maybe add a little frill some shit like that 
Um, but it was the cape that I really wanted to finish. Um, and I wanted to put the G on the back of it um, and like do the little rhinestones I think he has on the back of his. I have pictures, but he has like little rhinestones that go down his cape. And I wanted to do that. But as as the days progressed and like I got closer to the tour, I was slowly coming back to reality as, you know, it'll probably not happen <laughs> because why would it happen? There was no real way of getting their attention other than and like Tobias probably doesn't have, you know, an Instagram or a TikTok that he goes around and spies on everybody. Um and so he's probably never no nobody's gonna see this and like I started kind of getting discouraged a little bit and I was like you know it's probably not gonna happen um and I just I all I did was put the satanic the leviathan cross with like some gems on his neck and I put like a little gold swirly border around his cape and that's the extent that I got it and that's how it is right now. Um, it's at that point because uh, I got discouraged. And, you know, I set myself up for failure at that. <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie. I knew that it was probably not going to happen. But, you know, I tried my darndest. <laughs> and um, so far, it did, it did encourage me to finish the miter, to find the bodysuit, and finish the sash that goes around the neck. And that's what people... And, and the, the, the cape people don't really see anyway. And so I usually film him from the front. So, you know, I was like, eh, should I finish it? Maybe in the future. When I, when my brain switches back on to ADHD autism mode and it's like, <laughs> all right, I'm going to finish this now. <laughs> yeah. Cause like, I'll, t I'll tell you right now, just from a viewer standpoint, if you would have never said that, I would have never known the difference to tell you the truth. Like I would have never known that it wasn't, or that it was incomplete actually. Uh, just cause like you, you said, you shoot him from the front. So that's really what I notice is the miter and the little sash and his bodysuit and his face. Like, cause I'm not really paying attention to much else. I'm like, it's a dog. In the mm -hmm. fucking Papa Four costume. This is amazing. I know. And I know. People fucking love that shit and eat that shit up. And I would too. If I if this wasn't me and I saw somebody else doing it, I would eat that shit up like it's fucking IHOP pancakes. And it, I love IHOP pancakes. A bunch. But Pupper Four is better than IHOP pancakes. Yes, exactly. So this basically all started as just a Halloween costume idea and it kind of fucking snowballed into what it is now. Have you thought about going as a nameless ghoul, like alongside him, like in costume? Yes. Um, I've been actually working on my, my ghoul OC character. Um, her name's Rouge. I got the nickname Rouge in high school because I dyed my hair Ariana Grande style red. <laughs> and I had that name stuck with me for so long. I graduated in like 2014. So it, that that nickname just stuck with me. Uh like I used it in like usernames, um Instagram, email addresses, anything really. And I was when I made the Pupper Emeritus character, I was thinking to myself, you know, who am I? Am I just me? Who am I? And I just thought about, you know, I think it'd be cool if I was also, like, if I had an OC who was essentially his handler um, that brings him around the ministry as, like, an emotional support pupper. So that's who Pupper Emeritus actually is, is the ministry's most satanic emotional support pupper. And that's fantastic. I love that so much. And for those of you out there that are not familiar with the term OC, that is original character. Just to yes. throw you a bone, okay? Yeah. Speaking of, before I forget this, because I, I had a really fantastic idea that popped into my head. If you ever wanted to get a tribute tattoo for this dog, like you could do the Leviathan symbol tattoo, but instead of the infinity part of it, just do a fucking outline of a dog bone. <sighs> Shit. You come up with the good ideas, don't you, Richie? That's why they don't pay me the big bucks that I should be making. <laughs> they should be paying you. I don't know who should, but they should be paying you more. <laughs>
if you scroll up to the show notes below, you can find my Venmo account. You can tip me there. Thank you. <laughs> Please give me money. Give me your fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a good idea, actually. That is, I, I, I was thinking because I, I've been really wanting a ghost tattoo, and I'm a very much of a pastel goth girly, and I kind of really want a crucifix that looks kind of like cutesy pastel goth black sparkly. But now I'm kind of wanting that tattoo <laughs> because one he's my dog and two it's ghost related still so like it's like killing two birds with one stone and but if 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 my family saw that on my body they would have an aneurysm probably <laughs> you know the the best part about it is if you do that where the outline of the bone is like in the dead center of it lined up you know symmetrically you could just put the letter a like right in the dead middle of it too a for apollo for what for apollo oh shit yeah i was <laughs> I was like, A, for what? <laughs> a, for, bro, what the fu- Oh, yeah! <laughs> My dog's name. Oh, My fuck. fucking dog! <laughs> so, that's... My OC is essentially... Her name's Rouge, and she goes around the Satanic Ministry uh, with Pupper Emeritus, and she brings joy and happiness. And you know how, like, colleges sometimes bring in the puppies before, like, midterms and shit to, like, make people feel better? Yeah. It's essentially that. <laughs> it makes the ghouls feel better when they see him and his smiling face. I mean, that dog should make everybody feel better just seeing its face. Like every time I scroll through Instagram or TikTok and I see him, I'm like, ah, his goody shorts. he's a good boy. The fucking yeah. goody shorts on this dog were hilarious, <laughs> by the way. Thank you so much for, for that piece of entertainment. <laughs> You're welcome. He took it like a champ, too. He He's the sweetest boy. He lets me fuck around with him so much. As long as I give him treats and stuff, he loves blueberries and he loves freeze-dried um, chicken. So as long as I give him, keep those treats coming, he's the best boy in the world. He's so, so sweet. Like, honestly, I don't know how I ended up with such a sweet boy. Well, I think it's because you are who you are. I think you are a fantastic human, and I think you are a very, very funny motherfucker. So that that <laughs> is why I think this dog is in your life. He He's providing us all, well, you, but the dog is out there on internet land providing us all with smiles and laughter. At the end of the day, you deserve that too. So like you get to, you get to hang out with the dog like outside of social media while we're all just like, man, that's the goodest boy. But you know what? You know how good the goodest boy actually is. And we thank yeah. you as a community. We thank you for sharing him with us all. He's, he's the sweetest little guy. And like, I really want to take him um, to maybe like a phantasm events, a ghouls ball, um, and be able to bring him hopefully sometime at the actual ministry, if they let him um, and have people, you know, see him, take pictures. And I am actually, I've sent them to you, but I did have harnesses made for him. Uh, he's going to be having a, my little, uh, my little sunshine, <laughs> call me little sunshine harness um, so that I don't, like, if I do go to Ghoul's Ball or if I do go somewhere, if Papa does meet Pupper sometime in the future, if my Delulu brain, like, actually comes into fruition, um, he doesn't have to be in his whole little outfit with the miter and cape and shit. I have this harness that's made that resembles the Call Me Little Sunshine fit. And I also have another harness that's coming. Um, and it's all small business. Support small businesses, you guys. Support small businesses. And they, ma they, they make uh, the teal jacket, the teal sequin jacket. Yeah. And it has the little fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it has fuck you. It has the fuck you on the inside. So he's going to have a call me little sunshine harness and a teal fuck you harness, which I love. The teal jacket is my absolute favorite. Um, so I knew I had to get that. <laughs> Fucking um, uh, Happy Gilmore. We were talking to Adam Sandler earlier. Gold jacket, green jacket. Who gives a shit? <laughs> who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> His fucking stage handlers on there. Hey, Papa. Huh? 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 What? Which robe are you having on next? Gold jacket and green jacket. And, 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 and who gives a shit? Who, who gives a shit? <laughs> who, 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 who gives a shit? <laughs> 
So yeah, um, I have I'm getting those made just in case. Hopefully, I'm able to bring him to a, a phantasm event so people can actually meet him in person. Um, and that's kind of what I, I, I'm just planning ahead. Do I think it, it, I want it to happen? If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. He's still gonna look fucking cute regardless in his little harnesses. And I come I, I currently I live in a kind of conservative Christian small town. So if I put him in a little harness with that has like a little jacket that says "fuck you" on it, it'll turn some heads, <laughs> and that's what I like. <laughs> I make them. I make all them heads turns for the wrong reasons. <laughs> yeah, but those of us who really know, we we love it, and and, and those those people, they don't really matter at the end of the day. So fuck it. No, they don't. They don't. They really don't. I all I already. Um, Katie sent me a bandana that has the leviathan cross on it and the heads that turn <laughs> <laughs> and i love all the artwork i've like had i've commissioned people to do artworks and stuff for pupper um and i've commissioned um designs for like shirts from like other artists and stuff so i'm waiting for that as well um and just people making me and sending me artwork and sending me things and just the love that you get from this community is is nothing I've ever experienced before. I hate to say fan mail because that sounds kind of that sounds very vain. I've gotten guesty mail from people who send me so much stuff for Pupper, drawn pictures, made bracelets, made keychains, um candles, a whole mess of stuff. And that's how I know that I'm doing something that's making a positive impact is that when you get so many people who want to, who reach out to you and want to show you how much they love and care and support your channel is when they want to send you just all these amazing and beautiful things. Um, and I also have somebody who reached out to me who says that they are wanting to send um, Pupper and I like to have a part of his costume, a thurible to add to Pupper's costume, like an actual 3D printed, like, like the one that Papa uses. Yeah. Um, and somebody reached out to me and they said that they wanted to send one to me. And I like almost plopped. I just, the, just the generosity that this, this, this whole community has, like, just, it makes me so happy. <laughs> Oh no, it just I get makes it. Me happy. Oh, I get it. Trust me, completely. Makes me happy too, honestly. Um I don't think that I have come across a more creative and supportive bunch of people than in this community. You being one of them. So, you know, I guess that kind of is a good way to like round out this conversation just because like the mission really on this show in particular is to do exactly that, is to reach out and connect with those of you that are part of the Ghost and God community because we're all bonded by this very same band, but we all express it in different art forms and in different ways. And I think it's fucking fascinating, the ideas that everybody has come up with. You know, uh, like I said, or in the middle of this actually, is like it started out as a, as a Halloween costume idea and it fucking snowballed into a whole ass like social media presence and exactly it's fucking fun exactly and that's that's all what it is at the end of the day i just want people to be happy when they see my content when they see apollo when they see pupper uh his alter ego when they see him on their instagram on tiktok i just want people to be happy because even Tobias said that a, a lot of the fans are fans because of whatever reasons they're going through stuff. Um, they've had a hard life. They, they've had a hard time, whether it be growing up, you know, things just not going their way, things not happening the way they want to. And I know it sucks and I know it's hard because I'm also one of those people and I also have suffered a lot in life. So I wanted to make this account to at least help some people and at least bring a smile to someone's face. Um, if Because you don't know what they're going through. 
You don't know if they're contemplating something, if they are having just like a really tough time. And, you know, everyone loves a dog. So if I, if my content just happens on your For You page and you see it and it makes you smile, even for like a second, you know, it just makes you feel something. I know that I'm doing something right. You're doing a fantastic job. And, uh, (laughs) I'm, I got real for a second there. No, I'm, and I'm being real too. Like you've, you've done a fantastic job and I'm really happy to know you and I'm happy to call you a friend because, you know, that's another thing about this group that has been amazing is all the friendships, you know, not to mm-hmm. like make, because this is like a joking saying, maybe it's the friendships we made along the way, but it really fucking is. <laughs> yeah, it is. So if anybody out there would like to follow you on social media, where can they go? On TikTok, it is Pupper Emeritus the Fourth, and on Instagram, it is also Pupper Emeritus the Fourth. <laughs> on my, which I like my Instagram a lot because, and I, when I first posted my first photo, like I, I got a lot of people saying, "Fucking finally, <laughs> why have you not been on here?" And I'm like, you know what? I don't know. <laughs> you so um, two thousand and late. I know exactly. <laughs> I'm not for Galicious. I'm. <laughs> Uh, all that bullshit is fictitious anyway. I blow kisses, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I like I like Instagram now um, because I can post pictures and behind the scenes and things that are not on my TikTok, like the pictures of Pupper in his original costume or the costume before I completely changed it up um, and painted it and stuff, um, and just him in goody shorts. <laughs> Right. And and to support the uh, full-blown conversation about doing things the lazy way, like we said earlier, if you would like to follow Pupper Emeritus IV on TikTok and Instagram, you can mm-hmm. scroll to the show notes below this episode or click the description underneath the video captions on YouTube. And there are, there are going to be links and you can just click and you can go and you can follow. I really appreciate you hanging out with me today. Yeah, no problem. It's been fun. Um, And I'm actually rather, I'm really glad that I'm able to actually tell the whole story as to, you know, how upset and sad I was that the Imperator happened, like literally two days before I got, uh, before I got into Ghost and how that spiraled into my obsession and snowballed into making my dog a Halloween costume which also spiraled into making him and his entire social media account. <laughs> and that has also opened up a lot of a lot of awesome doors for me that I didn't expect. Um, like making friends, um, doing I like to do like a bunch of giveaways because I like making people smile. Uh, hopefully I can do more stuff like that in the future. And you know, this like I said, this page is just about making people in this community happy and just making you smile well you're certainly making me smile every day and all the guesties that already follow you so again if you want to follow pup or emeritus the fourth on tiktok (laughs) or instagram or both go to the show notes below click the links click the follow button and follow that pupper but yeah thank you very very much for uh for hanging out with me today yeah, no problem. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for letting me ramble um, and ramble and ramble on. And that's what we do here on Gonst FM Off Air. We have conversations with people. I talk to you about Ghost. We talk to each other about Ghost. For past, present, and future episodes of Gonst FM Off Air, you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube, or anywhere else that you listen to your podcasts. You can leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts. You can leave a rating and comment on individual episodes on Spotify, or you can click the like button, click the bell to subscribe, and leave a comment on this episode on YouTube. If you would like to make a donation to help keep Gonst FM on the air, if you would like to buy a t-shirt or any other merchandise from Gonst FM, or if you want to just come hang out and join the fun and Gonst posting on Facebook, scroll to the show notes below, find the link tree link for Gonst FM, click it, and choose your own adventure. And so, my dearest Gonslings, today's episode comes to a close. Some of you, I will see in internet land. The rest of you, I will see in Gonst posting. Take care of yourselves. And remember, until next time, in Gonst, we tronced. I'm Richie, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>